candidates made their opinions heard at a listening session with the Virginia Board of Education regarding Governor Glenn Youngkin's executive order aimed at cell phones in classrooms. WDBJ 7's Maya Howard was at today's discussion and has our story. Governor Glenn Youngkin issued an executive order to establish a cell phone free education. Now Vito and State Superintendent Lisa Coons are informing families in the Commonwealth about the expectations of the new cell phone policy. We heard a lot about bell to bell. Um, having cell phones up and away, whether it's turned off or put in a locker from the minute they come to school to the time they leave. To me, we're, we're living in a, a cell phone addiction era, but it's not just the students, it's the parents as well. As parents and educators spoke, many agreed that high school and middle school students' phones need to be locked away, and elementary students should not bring them to school. So if you have these kids that are constantly distracted, you're not going to be able to have that engagement. And we want better engagement, we want better community, we want people to be involved in what's taking place in their school and communicating with people. Some parents have disagreed with the ban due to wanting to communicate with their child if an emergency situation occurs. Roanoke County School Board member Cheryl Fachani says safety is their number one priority. Data is clear that if a parent is texting or phoning their child in the middle of an emergency, it actually causes more harm than good. So uh, when there is an emergency, we need the student to be listening to the adult in the room and not communicating with the parent. The cell phone ban will be in effect in January of next year. The Virginia Board of Education is expected to publish a policy draft in early August. Reporting in Roanoke, Amaya Howard, WDBJ7.